it's Sophie and Day, and we are here with today's daily LinkedIn puzzles and sexy time chit chat. Um, it's a Saturday, so I'm at home with both of my kids, and since we talked about uh, babies yesterday, I thought we could talk about kids today, and so we'll just keep it moving. Um, I love being a mom. I love it. I have a... 11 month old and a five year old and they are the joys of my life um it's interesting how um <laughs> like i've always known i want to do your mom but some people don't want to be moms and i think that's perfectly perfectly fine i think people who don't have kids are still you know they can be maternal in their own ways even men you know? <laughs> Um, before we had kids, my husband <laughs> was such an amazing uncle to my niece and nephews, and um, you can have friends and support their little ones, and so I, I worked in a school district, um, and so I had a lot of interaction with children, and um, so before I ever had kids, I feel like I've always had that kind of maternal instinct around kids. Um, yeah. So when I hear about childless cat ladies, it kind of pisses me off because what a disrespectful thing to say that you're not valid because you haven't pushed out a, a baby, you know? So when it comes to kids, I'm, it's close to my heart, but it's also something I understand that's not for everybody. And come on in my five-year-olds, she's just going to be in and out. Come here. What are you doing? Are you drinking water? Yeah. Okay. Go drink some more. <gasps> Ow! Oh my God, I saw that. Come in here. Come in here. You hit your, she poked her eye on the door handle. Come here. Oh, honey. Let me see. I saw that. I saw that. You okay? Oh, baby. It's so red. Oh, poor thing. All right, well, okay. This is Cloud, and <laughs> she just hit it. <laughs> Okay. Day likes to grab her hair uh, all the time. All right, say hey and then go sit outside, okay? Because you don't have any clothes on. All right. No, stop it. What? Stop what? I can't give you kisses. Okay, go. Go. Take it and go. Well, there's nothing to take, but go. And close. The, that's why you need to leave. She's going to just accost you. Hey, okay, close the. Okay. Close the door for me, okay? You feel better? Is it still hurt? No, I'm sorry. Okay. Well, she's she's gonna be in and out, I'm sure. <laughs> but with that being said, um, one of the things that also really irked me before I had kids was um, when like my brother who had three children before I did would say things like oh you can't give me advice you can't talk to me because you don't have kids you don't know what it's like you can't ex and I was like listen I've never uh, been a pilot I've never had flight training but I know damn well when an airplane is is nose diving into the ground or about to hit a mountain so you definitely don't need to have the exact experience as someone to be able to offer some insight or knowledge, especially if you've read up or worked with kids or, you know, had an um, education in a different capacity. So, long story short, you know, I don't think kids should be an excuse for uh, misunderstanding or for writing someone off. And so, I also don't think kids should be an excuse to say I'm better than anyone else or I'm fulfilling some kind of <laughs> divine purpose or... or have more um, investment in the future. That's just ridiculous. And also, I think it also makes it where your kids are such an extension of yourself that, oh, you know, what they do is a reflection on me. These are totally separate people. They'll be adults and real people longer than they're, they'll ever be kids. And so, you know, I have strong feelings in that regard, but that's just a, a taste of some of them, I think. Um, so we'll do our cross-climb puzzle. And I'll just chit chat about my thoughts on kids as we uh, complete each puzzle. <laughs> I start with the um, my least favorite puzzle, and I move on into my favorite puzzles, which is always the queens. I love queens. 
Um, so let's see here. And let's also make sure. Hi. Hi, friend. That our uh, stream is up. I didn't what? You want to close it for me? No. No. <laughs> Hi. You're back. All right. I'm going to ask you some questions. You ready? We're going to start our cross climb game. Okay. Okay. So what's an object that may have hands and a face? I think it's a clock. Ow! She's, just to, she's already doing it. And she's burping on you. What's a baby bird in a coop? A baby bird in a coop. A baby bird is called, what's a baby chicken? It's like a baby, but it's a... What, what's it called? What's a baby chicken called? Um, a baby bird. Or a chick. A ch chicken. A chick. chick. <laughs> You're so cute. Computer a mouse on a monopia. That's a click. That's a tough one. For a five-year-old, I guess. Do you know what an onomatopoeia is? No. Can you say onomatopoeia? Onomatopoeia. Yes, good. That's great. An onomatopoeia is a word that sounds like a sound. Yeah, you know what? I, you know what some cool onomatopoeias? What? You know what my favorite one? What? Buzz. 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 Because the word buzz sounds like a buzz, doesn't it? It sounds like a bumblebee. <laughs> yeah. So whenever you, you hear a word that sounds like a sound... That's an onomatopoeia. This, don't you do grandma <laughs> Color in a 16 pack of Crayola crayons. Okay. A rainbow. <laughs> Maybe. I wish it was a rainbow crayon. A rain Prevent from viewing your profile. Why do you not even color in that one? Oh, day, day, day. Oh, girl. Let's see. Prevent from viewing your profile. Block, yeah, that's what that is. Block. Color in a six, oh, black. Black. Black? Okay, so now we have to arrange the words to where there's just one letter change. We'll start with black. Block, clock, click, chick. All right, so now we have a two-word item denoting unlimited spending authorization. Yes, stop it! That would be a blank check. Do you know what a check is? Yeah. <laughs> it's a piece of paper people used to write on to move money. Okay. Going up front, okay, baby? Why? Because I'm, I'm working. I'm not going to pee. I don't want to pee. I don't want to pee. I don't want to pee, girl. I don't want to pee. I don't want to pee. Go, 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 go. I don't want to pee. Go and close the door. Hey, listen. Listen, you can come back later. Kids, go. I have some thoughts I have to share you. Well, listen. My other thoughts on kids. I got it, I got it, I My other thoughts on kids are that I love a mean kid. I love a mean kid. Now, this is the Stop nicest. It. This is the nicest kid in the whole wide world. <laughs> but I'm trying to teach her, you know, like, listen, if somebody wants to come and touch you, you can say, what do we say? We do our arms up and we say, no, bad touch, remember? And so we always have to, uh, I'm sorry, she, because she's so nice. Oh, my God, this girl. She gets your hair so. so I want to be on the mouth. Oh my gosh, it's on the handle. Oh God, how did you do that? Okay. So since, <laughs> since she's so nice. You gotta go put a shirt on. No, that, uh, now, go put a shirt on. <sighs> the top. But since she's so nice. <laughs> when people come up to her and they're like, oh, hi. And they want to, no, no, go put a shirt on. Now. It's like a broken record. It's, okay, anyway. Because she's so nice. <laughs> and she is. She's really nice. When people, they're like, even the other day, this old couple 
came up to her. Mm-hmm. And um, the woman, like, just started rubbing her chest. Like, oh, who's this Disney character? And I was just like, <laughs> no, don't touch my kid. Like, what are you doing? And so I'm, you know, I, we took that lesson and I'm trying to... Um, I'm trying to teach her, like, no, you know, don't let people touch you. It's okay if, like, even if my mom or my dad was like, give me a hug. Like, you don't have to hug anybody. Not only that, she doesn't have to hug or kiss me. Um, I dropped her off at school one day, and she was, I was like, okay, give me a hug. She was like, no. I was like, you know what? No problem. You go right on ahead. And she, of course, came right back and gave me a hug anyway. (laughs) But, um, you know, I love a mean kid. Make your kids mean. And not just rude mean, but just let them know that they, their boundaries are okay, even with you. Okay, so that's my second thought on kids. And let's start our pinpoint puzzle, which is my second least favorite game. Um, I'm going to guess, we got to guess what their, uh, these clues have in common. So honeycomb, we're just going to guess something with bees. Solar panel. They have hexagons. Prison. Oh, they have cells. Okay. Spreadsheets. Any living being. These are just the easiest ones. Um, I do get down to some of the the later, uh, like five and six clue five and six occasionally, but for the most part. Three guesses is kind of bad. Like, normally you can get those in one or two. But um, still fun, still fun. Not like the New York Times um, Connections game. Now, that is that is super fun. And that's kind of the similar thing where you're trying to find a thread between uh, different words. You okay? Somebody's so sleepy. All right, so my next thought on kids. <laughs> Let me close the door for this one. Cause it's not, it's not, um, I don't know. It's not the norm and you're, you're probably going to disagree with me. Um, but I feel like, um, a very lucky person because I am not a minor attracted person. I'm not a pedophile. I don't feel no, 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 no. Go, 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 go for a minute. I don't feel like sexually attracted to kids, children, teens, nothing. Um, and so I'm, I'm lucky in that regard. I feel like people who are minor attracted have won the worst lottery there is to win. Um, and so I actually have a lot of, those are my other kids. I have three dogs. Uh, sorry. So I, I do, I feel, um, a lot of sympathy for minor attracted people. This, This is our whole house all the time. (laughs) <laughs> so I definitely um, I have a podcast called the Sex with Sophie podcast where I interview people from different walks of sexual life um, and I would love to talk to a person who is minor attracted I don't um, you know I don't want anybody like that near my kids I definitely try to teach my kids how to protect themselves and whatnot. but I don't um have any uh anything but but i'd say like pity for people like that until and unless they transgress but there's a lot of research that's been done that shows that um people who actually do sa children or um or harm kids in that way uh, a lot of them aren't actually pedophiles like they are because they've done the the crime but so that's the label but they're not minor attracted people. They just uh, see easy targets. They're, op- they're opportunistic, um, you know, things like that. But there's a lot of people who live as minor attracted people who, who just don't act on that. And so I think that for those people, um, you know, if we were a little bit more understanding, you know, I think it would be something that uh, could let those folks know that they can let a therapist know, get some help. Um, so again, I'd love to talk to somebody, um, anonymously about those feelings and what they live with and go through. 
but I also, you know, still teach my girls how to protect themselves and um, I watch them like hawks. I don't put them in, like there's never going to be a sleepover. They're never going to be away with anybody um, outside of my supervision, outside of school um, or like a trusted babysitter. Even then I'm like, listen, just letting you know we have cameras. Like I'm not fucking around um, with the fact that some people do you know harm children but for people who cannot help the again the the lottery pick that they were given i do i have a lot of sympathy for them and i um you know i'd love to talk to somebody who who experiences that and i'm just thankful that i don't like honestly what's up so oh nice daddy made you a sandwich that's so nice you enjoy okay Good. You keep drinking water, baby. I'm proud of you. All right. So let's move on to our next puzzle. And this one is Tango. And I really like it. Um, at first, I didn't really care for it. But now I'm like, okay. It, it gets a little challenging. You have suns and moons. You have to have the same amount of suns and moons on each row and in, and in each column. Whenever you see this uh, X, you have to have opposite symbols. Whenever you have equals you have to have an equal <laughs> she's singing on a beat you have to have the same symbol hi and also you can't have more than two in a row she's so tired so oh, sweet what is yeah so because you because you can't have more than two in a row we know those are both moons this has got to be a sun. Yeah. Um, and now on this row, because we have two moons and a sun, we have to have two suns and a moon. So this is it. Equals. So we know the two suns are going to go there. She's so tired. Go to sleep. She's fighting it a lot lately. Poor baby. Um, since you can't have two in a row, this has to be a sun. Uh, let's see. Hi. 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 You okay? Come here. You want your dummy? Come here, baby. Have your dummy. Have your dummy. Go to sleep. Why don't you rest your head? And go to sleep. You're so tired. She just had uh, peaches and bananas and a whole bottle of milk. And so, I'm shocked she didn't fall out a while ago. <laughs> Sweet girl. Alrighty. So this has to be the opposite symbol, so we know that's going to be a moon. And now, look at this. We have um, two moons, which means we have one more moon and uh, three suns that we have to place. And so since we only have one moon, it cannot go here or here because we won't have the equals to do it. So that has to be a sun and that has to be a sun. Uh, let's see what else we can kind of figure out here. Uh, that has to be the opposite symbol. So that's gonna be the moon. Um, we have a equals here, so this can't be a sun. Otherwise we would have uh, over two in a row, so those have to be moons. That's the opposite symbol, a sun. And so now we have two suns in a row. We can't have that, so we have moons, moons. Now we have to have another sun to complete this column. Two suns in a row, so can't have that. Moons, moons. Can't have two, uh -huh. more than two in a row. Can't have more than two in a row. Sun, sun. Now we need another sun to complete this row. Another moon to complete this row another sun to complete this column another moon to complete this column now the only thing we have left on this row are suns sun sun uh, can't have more than two in a row so that's got to be a sun this uh, same here that's got to be a moon and finally we need another moon for this row and there you go well done everybody that was great so now we're on to our final and most fun puzzle. I love queens. It is the best. Um, and so if we have 
sometime. Maybe we can get some star battles in after this because they're like queen. But my final thought on kids um, is just that you, you, sex education is so important. Um, and I've talked about this a little bit before, but when it comes to sex education and comprehensive sex education that you uh, talk to your kids about, you have to do it in an age-appropriate way. So even though my daughter is five, we've already begun her sex education. So she knows all about um, the different ways that people can be. So she knows that she could have been a boy, that she might have been intersex. She knows that boys have penises, that she has a vagina. Um, she knows that these are called breasts. Um, she knows the actual words for her private parts and she knows that they are private um, she knows that people can't just come and touch her uh, she's she's understanding that she can say no that she has the right to like we talked about before with boundaries um, she understands all those things so the, and that's part of age-appropriate comprehensive sex education furthermore um, she knows about different family structures She's adopted, and so she's very aware of that. So she understands that our family looks a little differently um, than other people's families. She understands that some families have a mom, a dad, and a biological mom like hers. Um, that some families have two moms. Some families have two dads. Some families have one mom, one dad. Um, I was saying the other day, I have a friend who... <laughs> Um, they just had a baby in their throuple. So there's two moms and a dad in that situation. And so there's definitely um, all kind of ways that families can be that are appropriate to tell your kids about. Like you can let them know that um, their friends may, when they come home, their home might look a little different. But as long as there's love there, that's all that matters. Because love is what makes a family, period. And so, yeah, that's my final thought on kids that you gotta begin uh, their sex education early and do it often. There should be no talk. There should be no birds and bees speech. You know, it shouldn't be once and it shouldn't be when they're too old to have already heard everything from TV or from their friends. Um, it should start, you know, very, very early when they're first learning language. You know, they should understand the, the parts of their body in reality. Um, and so the reason that I'm so fervent about it is because, you know, me, I'm, a, I'm the data chick. Uh, again, I'm Sophie from sexwithsophie.com. Uh, I teach people how to talk to each other about sex. That includes how to talk to your kids about sex. Um, and so, you know, all, I, I, I research. That is my job as I'm a researcher. And so in all the studies that I have found around this, um, there's so much evidence that points to early Again, age-appropriate sex education, uh, minimizing how often kids are predated. So you won't have, um, so you'll have less instances of SA, kidnapping, um, harassment, things like that. If you teach your kids boundaries, teach your kids about their body parts, um, things of that nature. Uh, and then also, unfortunately, for kids who have been essayed, uh, it, the the good news is that if they've had that education, they're much um, better able to express what happened to them. So it's very, very important. Um, and it's something I'm just going to continue to talk about all the time. So um, again, yeah, that's my final thought on kids. Let's take it back up a notch and go into our final LinkedIn puzzle, which is queens, where again, you have to have one crown in this case, in each column, each row, and in each colored shape, and also the crowns cannot touch. So, uh, right off the bat, we see that in this bottom row, the only place we can have a crown is in the pink. So there can't be a crown in anywhere in the pink except for, in the pink except for this bottom row. So that eliminates that. Um, can't have st uh, crowns where they will eliminate entire shapes like here, 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 and here. So now what we can do is we can look at the kind of what I call our shape counts. And so like for instance, one in this bottom 
bottom. In this top three rows, there are three shapes completed. And since we have to have the crown in each of those shapes and can only have one crown per row, anything outside of these shapes can go. So we don't have a crown, oops, sorry, we don't have a crown here and we definitely don't have a crown here. So that means that we don't have a crown here because if we did, it would eliminate all of the red. So now this is a Tetris L, which means that we can't have a crown here because that would eliminate this and everything else in this row. So can't have a crown there. Um, let's see here, do we have any other Tetris L's? We do not. So let's keep looking at our, uh, let's see. I'm trying to find any other, oh, here we go. So with this three, uh, set of three rows here, red, uh, purple, and yellow fit within the three rows. So anything outside of that, like this gray and this brown cannot be in these three rows. Uh, so now we have uh, where the brown can only be here or here. So we can't have one here, cannot have one here because it would eliminate all of the brown, which means our gray, which is our first crown, is here. Um, our brown crown is here, brown crown. <laughs> we also have to take away everything in the rows and columns around those crowns and everything around the crowns because they can't touch. And so we cannot have a crown here because if we did, it, it would eliminate this yellow and this whole line of yellows. Uh, let's see what else we can start chunking down and again, chunking is the official word for it. You can't, <laughs> it might not be, I don't know. I just say that a lot. Alrighty, so now let's start counting our shapes again and seeing if we've whittled anything down. Um, so let's see, one, two, three. Oh, here we go. This row, or excuse me, this column only has a green available. So not only do we know the crown is there, we can take away everything else in that row, but we can remove any of the other green because th this shape is accounted for. Uh, let's see, the yellow, it's here and here. Um, let me tell you, this one is a little tricky. I love it. So the orange can only be here or here. So everything else in that column can go and it, and then these can go because of course it would eliminate the ability to have a crown in the orange at all. If we had a star or a crown here. I love playing star battles, which are like queen sets, either crowns or stars. If I say stars, forgive me. Um, now we cannot have a crown here because if we did let's say we had a crown here it would eliminate this and this so we wouldn't have room for the purple so we know there's no crown there which leaves our blue uh, which leaves our orange again take everything away around it everything else in the rows um, this purple means that we cannot have a pink here because we can't have anything else in this column our yellow is here which means our purple is here and can't have anything around it. So our red is here and that leaves our pink here. That's our final crown. Well done, everybody. I hit my hand. Um, so that was good. That was a, a really challenging one. I liked it. And so, yeah, that's it for our LinkedIn games today. Uh, Cloud's chilling, so let's maybe do one or two star battles. This one's finally asleep. And um, I guess just really quickly, just a final thought on kids. Uh, again, you know, go to sexwithsophie.com, sign up as a member. And also, like, I'm talking this whole time just because I know it's kind of early. It's like 7.30 in the morning in America um, on the East Coast, so it's earlier everywhere else. So I understand this is not the best time to chit chat about sex, but if you have any thoughts or want to talk about any of the topics um, that I have listed in a second <laughs> up here, um, I'm always available for you to just interrupt me at any point. Um, 
or leave a comment and let me know your thoughts on some of those topics or anything you want to talk about. But um, since it's so early and I don't get a lot of calls, um, that's why I've kind of chosen a topic to, to chat about. And so thanks for listening to my thoughts on kids today. Um, yeah, so <laughs> let's do a couple of star battles. Again, I'll start with some 10 by 10 one stars because they're very similar to what we just did with Queen. Um, so let's see. And again, if you want to call in or chat, it's a Saturday, so maybe people are awake. You know, I'm here um, at your disposal. And so really quickly, <laughs> um, because now a lot of the rules that I talk about, they don't really matter if you have one star, two star, three star, four star, or five stars in some cases. Um, it, they work for all of them. So in this one, we have one row with one solid color. So anything else in that shape that's that color cannot be outside of this row because the star has to be here. And now we're talking stars because we're playing star battles and not queens. Um, so we also, oh, excuse me can do our shape counting and know that we have one, two, three, four shapes solidly within these final four rows. So nothing outside of those shapes can have a star in these final four rows. Um, that leaves this blue as only this shape. So we definitely cannot have a star here because that would eliminate both of these cells and this cell. Because again, we're just doing one. Um, same thing here can't have a star here because that would eliminate this and this so we wouldn't have any pink um yeah and so let's start looking at uh, okay so these two shapes fit solidly within these two columns so we can't have anything outside of those and let's see one two three one, two, three, four, five, six. That's not helping. Uh, let's see. One, two, three. I'm trying to just find some counts that might help us here a little bit. Alrighty. Well, this one's a tricky one. Um, if there is a star here or here, then that wouldn't help us with our regions here, even though there are three within the first three columns. Sorry. So sorry. So let's see. Yeah, that's about all I see. Um... Yeah, like I love these games, but I'm not the best at them. I'm not a genius with the puzzles or anything, but I do I do love these games. Um okay, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. So, okay, there are six shapes solidly within the bottom six rows. One, two, three, four, five, six. So anything outside of these shapes cannot be in the bottom six rows. So that leaves our first star as the pink here that can take away everything else in its column, in its row and surrounding it. So that then leaves our red star here, take away everything around it, everything in the row, everything in the column. That leaves our purple star, which means we can take away everything in the row, everything in the column. That leaves our brown star, take away everything around it, everything in the row, everything in the column. Uh, that leaves that these two shapes are solidly within these two rows. So the blue cannot be here or here because uh, we have to account for the crown or here we go, for the star here and here. That leaves our light blue shape here. Can't be here. Can't have anything else in that row. 
Uh, that leaves our gray star. Can't have anything else in that row. That leaves our dark blue star. Can't have anything around it. Nothing in that row. Um, in that column, excuse me. There's our green one. There's our yellow one. There's our orange one. Okay, that was a little challenging for a second. But yeah, once you do your shape counting and row column counting, that, that tends to help you, you know, kind of crack it. That took a while. We were a little slow. So let's solve another one and see if we can be a little bit faster. Let's do another one star. Um, let's see if there's one a little more challenging. One stars are just not super hard. Although I like that. Again, the last one was a bit tricky. This one probably get through kind of quick. So the uh, gray star can only be here or here, so it can't have anything else in that row and nothing around it, because that would eliminate your ability to have a gray star here. Same with here, here, and here. Whenever you see that kind of L shape, the three cell L, <laughs> that rhymes. you know that there cannot be one here or on either little corner because that would eliminate the pink altogether. Can't have one here or here. <sighs> so sorry. Because whenever you have the Tetris S, um, you can immediately eliminate this one and this one because it would take away the whole brown shape. Hey, girlfriend. So now we have another little three cell L in the green. So we can take that away and that away. You okay? <laughs> yellow can only be in this row, so we can't have any yellow outside of this row. Oh. Now we have red where it's only in this row, so we can't have any red outside of that row. So we can take those away. Um, sorry, did I hit you? No. <laughs> Thanks. So the top two rows contain two colors. So anything in those shapes outside of those colors can go, because we wouldn't be able to have a crown outside of that so that leaves our orange as our first star so we can take everything away around it because they can't touch take away everything in that column I'm gonna get a color. Yeah. so now we have a two cell pink shape here so everything in this column can I think I bordered to death can go <laughs> and we can't have anything around it which means that we uh, have a two cell brown shape same thing nothing else in that column nothing else around it all right so let's see what we can do now um okay our orange is accounted for so we can take away everything else in the orange all righty so oh, my arm. <laughs> oh it's gone Ooh. and i got my vaccines my covid and my flu vaccine yesterday so my arm is hurting kind of bad but I'd still rather be holding her okay so let's see if there's anything else we can eliminate elimination mm -mm 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 -mm. I think we have to do some counting so let's see we kind of got that accounted for um yeah, this one definitely a little bit more challenging, which again, I love, love, love. Um, okay. Mm, okay. So we have one, two, three, four, five. <laughs> mm, that's not going to help us too much. Okay, let's try this side. So we have one, two, no, that doesn't help. What I'm trying to do is count how many shapes are within a certain set of columns or rows to see if we can eliminate some things. Um, no, these are just not helping us too much. Let's see what we can do. So we have one, two, three, four, five within the first six columns. 
So these are solidly within the first six columns. Um, then this, so we would need to find one more within the first six columns. Yeah, nothing's jumping out. Okay, so let's just keep seeing what we can see. I don't think I've missed anything as far as where they can go. So we can have a blue or yellow in this column. Blue, yellow, or red in this column. Gray or light blue. Gray, dark blue, light blue. Brown. Red, dark blue. There's four different ones. Just the two in this column. Five different ones in this column. One, two, three, four, five. And same here. So yeah, this row, yellow, gray, red. Uh, that can be green or, oh, here we go. I think we've solved it. So we have a gray, um, I'm sorry, a brown and a green in this row. And a brown and a green in this row. And it's the only place that these two can go. So it cannot have a pink here which means that the first or second star and our first pink star, our pink star is definitely here. So there's nothing around it, nothing else in its row, which leaves our dark blue star, nothing around it, nothing else in its row or column. Um, that leaves our green star, nothing around it, nothing in its row or column. That leaves our brown star, nothing around it, nothing in that row or column. That leaves our purple star, nothing around it, nothing in that row or column. That leaves uh, our red star, so here, nothing around it, nothing in that row or column, gray, yellow, and blue, light blue. Well done. That one was really, really challenging. I love it. So we were a little worse than average, but still not bad. Let's do one more one star, and then maybe if we have time, we can do a two star. And again, if you wanna call in at any time to chit chat about sexy times or kids or babies or sexwithsophie.com, anything that's on your mind. I'm not a debater. I'm not here to be like, this is why you should think what you think. I kinda of wanna know what you think. And also would like to know how you got to your thinking on certain things. So if you're wanting to call and have a conversation or not a debate, just a nice chat, I will if you would like to hear them present facts and research that I've found on certain topics, especially the ones that I've listed above. Um, yeah, that'll come up in a second. <laughs> These. So I, I know a lot about this kind of stuff. And so if you want to chat about any of this, great or if you just want to talk to me about your feelings and thoughts on certain things. Um, that's what I'm here for, because that's what I do. My name is, again, Sophie with sexwithsophie.com, and I teach people how to talk to each other about sex. Um, so let's do another puzzle or two, and if you, again, would like to call in, please feel free. Otherwise, it I know it's so early. It's like 12.45 where I am, uh, so it's the afternoon where I am, but I get that it's not even 8 in the morning. <laughs> where you are so if you're in the uh, America so um, yeah I get it I get it so let's just have another couple rounds of puzzles if I hear from you that's fantastic if you just want to leave a comment that's fine too um, otherwise I'm here just to hopefully give you a nice relaxing fun informative little chill session here so let's do again one more one star puzzle, this one looks good, 420. <laughs> so let's start it up. So right away we see that the light blue is only on this top row. So there cannot be any outside of this row. Um, this pink is only on the bottom row, so there cannot be any uh, anything else in this row. There also can't be one here because that would eliminate this entire pink shape can't be one here because that would take away the gray shape and can't be one here because that would also take away that gray shape. Red can't have one here because that would take away the red. 
And now I think we just have to do some uh, counting, shape counting to see what's, what's what. Um, oh, real quick, okay, we got two cells for the yellow, so we can take away everything else in this column. And take these away because we eliminate the yellow. So that leaves red as our first star. So take away everything around it because it can't touch and everything else in its row and column. And now what I was going to say is that the bottom three rows are fully uh, taken care of by these three complete shapes, brown, pink, and yellow. So everything that's not brown, pink, or yellow in the bottom three rows can go. All right, so now the orange can only be on this row. So everything on that row that's not orange can go. That leaves green as our second star, so we can eliminate everything around it, everything in its column, and everything in its row. That leaves our gray. Eliminate everything around it, everything in its column, and everything in its row. That leaves our blue, dark blue. Eliminate everything around it, everything in its column, and everything in its row. Now that leaves... Um, nothing else just yet <laughs> except here we have where the brown can only be in this row so that yellow can go which means our yellow star is here and can't have anything um, touching the pink because that would eliminate it so cannot be a star here which means our brown star is here and we can take away everything in that column around it in that row and so we're down to just a few more let's see what we can do okay so if the pink is here or here orange can be here or here Pink is here or here. Um, let's see. So the blue, the only place this light blue can go is here. So we take everything away around it. Take away that row. That leaves our purple or violet. Our orange. And finally, our pink. Well done. That was a little challenging too. But look at that. We were very fast. Good job. All right, so let's solve a two star. Let's up the stakes. <laughs> so let's create a puzzle. And um, again, most of the rules apply for, you know, no matter how many stars you're looking for. So on the top two rows, and again, feel free to interrupt me at any time. Leave a comment, um, give me a call. And I will stop what I'm doing to chat with you. Um, again, otherwise, just let's enjoy another star battle or Queen's LinkedIn puzzle. So the first two rows are taken up with two colors, which means that anything that's those colors outside of these two rows can be taken away. That leaves the blue is the light blue is only here in this row. So everything else that's not light blue or that's light blue outside of this row can go. That leaves red is the only thing in this row, so everything that's red outside of that row can go. That leaves purple, so <laughs> only thing, uh, only all the violets outside of that row can go. Finally, we have two, so we can kind of stop there. Um, let's count up these shapes. So we have one, two, three, four, five shapes. These two here are uh, making it where we can't eliminate things because we, we might have a star here, which would take us outside of our bottom five rows. <sighs> so sorry. And now again, we're looking for two stars this time. And so if we look at our two by two cells, because we can only have one star within any given two by two cell, we uh, would have one here for the pink and one here for the pink, so definitely a star here. We can get everything around it, but because we're looking for two, we can't eliminate that row or column just yet. 
But one thing interesting that we can see is that with this star here, that means that we cannot have two here because we can only have two for this row all together. So that second star for the yellow has to go here. And because the first star for the yellow has to be here, we can't have one here and can't have anything else in this column. So the red is a three by one. And once you start looking for two stars, um, you can now apply another rule, which is our three by anything rule. So three by one means you can eliminate the middle. So that leaves red here and here. And, and same with this blue, three by one, take away the middle. So the light blues are here and here. And these rows are completely taken care of. Um, let's see. Oh, sorry. You can't have anything around them. So that means that the purple is here and here. And these columns are both done. So that one's done. That one's done. All right. Good job. Okay. And since we have to have a star here, there cannot be one here because that orange would remove the pink altogether. Um, and when, whenever we have L's that are five long, we can't have one here because it would take away the screen. And you have to skip over to this one. <sighs> Excuse me. So whenever you have five by anything, five by one or two, you can take away the second and fourth uh, cells around it. That's even with this little L shape. So now we have a two by two in this lavender and a two by two here. So we know our star is here. So interestingly, interestingly enough, because we know that there have to be four stars all together in these two rows, there's only four places for these stars to be if we look at our two by two cells, because again, they cannot touch. So we have one here for sure, uh, one here for sure. Take everything else away around it. So now there's one here for sure, one here for sure, one here for sure and one here for sure because that means you can only have four here so now this whole row here is done our second lavender star is there and our first green star is here so these two rows are done um, because our second green star is still in this column we can take away everything else in this column that leaves our second pink um, which means that we know our first star and only star on this row for the orange has to be in one of these three cells, so we can take that away as an option. Alright, um, let's see. Here we have a three by two, so again we can take away the middle. So we'll definitely have a star here and definitely a star here, so that means that uh, the two here are accounted for. Everything else in this row can go. So our dark blue has a star here and a star here. So we can take away anything else in that row that's not blue. Um, let's see, this column is now done. Um, this column has one and three spaces available. So there could be one or two stars here. So either way, we can't have one here because that would eliminate all of this. Um, let's see if we have anything else like that. Oh, no. This column is done. We have our two stars. Uh, this one's good. Have one green here and one green here, which tracks. And then of course, just the dark green is gonna be here. So um, let's keep looking. Now this is interesting on this row. We know we only have one more brown uh, and we have to have at least one star here because we can't have two in the green. So our second brown star is definitely here, which means we can take that away. And since we can only have one star left for the brown, the remaining green star has to be here. So we could take away everything else in this column and everything else in this shape. Um, let's see. So we have one here. Uh, this gray shape now definitely has a star here and a star here. So that's a definite one. Um, that takes away everything around it, which leaves our second blue star here. 
and then our second gray star has to be here. So we can take away everything around it. Now this column is complete. And now this one is complete because our first orange star is there. Our second orange star is here. This row is done. Second brown star is here. Uh, definitely have a star here, so we can't have um, one here because that would eliminate the shape altogether. So our first light green star is here. Second one is here. This row is done, and our final star, guys, is the yellow. So, well done. Good job. So for our first two by two of the day, okay, we did that pretty fast. Good job. And again, feel free to call in, stop me at any time. Um, I've shared my thoughts about kids already. Yesterday we talked about babies, and so, um, yeah, if you have anything to add, definitely uh, give me a buzz, leave a comment. Um, I'll also put these up on YouTube so you can leave a comment in that comment section if you like. Um, but let's do one more puzzle and then I miss my girl, so I want to go hang out with her after this. So let's just do one more two by two. All right, so again, all of the regional rules of shapes in certain columns and uh, rows apply for any number of stars. So if we look at these first three columns, it has three different colors. So if the columns or rows number matches the, the colors within it, you can take away any of the colors that are outside of that number. So one, two, three columns, one, two, three colors. So there cannot be any of these colors outside of those three columns. Okay, that leaves our dark blue as only being able to be in this column. So everything else dark blue can go. Uh, this bottom row can only be lavender, so we can take away everything outside of that. That leaves pink as the only possibility for this column, so everything can go outside of that. Um, that leaves brown as the only possibility for this column, so everything can go outside of that. And because it's a three by one, because three by anything, you can eliminate the middle. That means our two stars for brown and our first stars of this puzzle are here. That leaves only gray in this column and only green in this column, so this all can go. We've got blue, we've got yellow. Uh, we talked about the five by, so whenever we're looking for two stars, whenever we have a five by one or two, we can take away the second and fourth uh, cells around the main strip because if we had stars, oh, so sorry, not here. Because if we had a star here, it would eliminate this, but we'd still be able to have a star here or here. So only in the Tetris L part and on the second part of, of the uh, five by two area here. Sorry about that. So now let's see what we can look at. Okay, so we can only have lavender here. And again, we're looking for two stars per row per column. So if we have one star here, that means we cannot have two in this orange. So there has to be one here. Um, and then the other star for the orange has to be here. So nothing else can be in this row. Now we know the other one is definitely here. Uh, let's see, this one is now a three by one, so we can eliminate the middle, and that leaves the star here and here. We can take away everything around it. And this column is now complete. It's now complete. <laughs> uh, we can only have one star left in this yellow because uh, if we had, we can't have two stars here because we already have one here. Um, so that means that there has to be a star here. So we can take away that purple or violet around the, oh, my bad. It could be here or here. So we don't know that for sure. So sorry. 
So there has to be a star here, here, or here, and only one star remaining in this yellow. So that means that we cannot make any deductions because if there were no stars here, there could be a, a lavender star here. So um, yeah, no deductions to be made just yet on the yellow. One, two, three, four. Okay, I'm just doing a little counting to see if we can eliminate anything else. Um, not that I can see. If you see something I don't see, like the fact that this row is complete, I can take that all away. Um, definitely feel free to chime in. I like these puzzles, but I'm not perfect at them. Um, one thing I noticed is that there's only four cells for this light or for this pink left, which means we can take all of that away because you can't have any stars here or it will take away your ability to have two stars in this region. So that leaves, if we look at our two by two cells, because you can only have one star within a two by two range, there's gotta be a star here. And the second star for this uh, light blue is here. And that completes our row here and leaves us a three by one. So we can take away the middle and know that our two stars are there and there. So on these, on this row, this is done. We have our four stars for these two rows together. Um, that leaves four cells in this light green. So again, we can't have anything around those cells, um, which means we can't have a star here because if we did, it would take away all of this yellow and we'd leave only this cell which we can't fit two in so now we have a three by one take away the middle star here star here this whole row is complete every time i say complete i want to say it like uh palpatine sorry so this is um a column that we can deduce only has a star here and here because that's the only place that they can go uh, the second yellow has to be here, so we can't have one here. Um, let's see, this is a three by one, so I can't take away the middle. Star here, star here. This column is done. The second lavender's gotta be here, so we can't have anything next to it. Um, leaving our orange here and the second lavender here. So the red, uh, the first red star has to be here. And also this is a three by three, so we can take away the middle. And that means we uh, are already taking care of the fact that the first red star has to go here. We can't have one here. Oh my gosh, I lied. There's two red cells here, so we can't deduce that right away, but we can still take it away because in this column, we only have uh, the ability to have one more star in this set of three, three by one. So you can't have one here because it would take all those away. Um, sorry. All right, so <laughs> let's see what we can do. Let's start move, removing some things. So this row is complete. Uh, so that's our, our second, we know our first red star is here. That's our second red star. So we can take away everything else in this column and all the rest of the red because the other stars got to be here so that leaves our blue um, we can complete this row and we know there's a star here and here because again if we look at our two by two sections uh, can't have a star here can't have a star here and so our first dark blue star is here, our second yellow star is here, this whole row we can complete. The first gray is here, this row is complete. Uh, gotta take away everything around the star, so our second blue is here, this row is done, the red is here, and our final star of the puzzle, of our final puzzle is here. Well done everybody. Um, so we did that a 
a little above average, so good job, everybody. Um, if you have any questions and want to chat with me, because we're going to go ahead and sign off now, um, again, go to sexwithsophie.com, sign up for free um, to become a member, and you can do my Ask Sophie advice column where you can leave a video, text, or audio message with any questions that you have. Uh, we have a forum, focus groups, all kind of really fun community features. Um, and uh, of course my podcast, if you're interested in hearing more about, um, asexuality, being a lesbian, um, we have our 30 reasons telethon out. So there's a lot of fun content to listen to. And, um, so I hope you'll join me there. And of course we'll try to be back tomorrow with our next set of LinkedIn games. And, uh, maybe I can do an evening chat. We tried one. I was kind of weirded out by it. So we'll do uh, a different one or a different setup maybe tonight we'll see and that way um it'll be a little bit better of a time to try to call in and chit chat about sexy times and um yeah so let's give that a shot later <laughs> but for now i'm gonna call it a day and thank you i'll call it a day her name's day um but we can uh catch up with you some other time hope your linkedin puzzles were just as fun and that you got the conclusions and solutions that i did and uh, yeah, we'll see you tomorrow.